Hi folks and uh, welcome to this uh, video. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you um, a piece of equipment which I've just recently acquired. Um, it's a Hantec PC oscilloscope and just arrived in the post there this morning. Purchased it off eBay for less than £40 um, including packaging and postage which I thought was quite a good uh, deal. This is the Hantec 60. 22 Bravo Echo, the 6022BE, which is a 20 meg bandwidth real time sampling rate of 48 meg, um, and it's a PC oscilloscope. I used to have an analog um, oscilloscope which uh, I had for about 30 years plus, and when I went to use it the other week. Um, I found the um, it wasn't working to its uh, full potential and I thought well it's about time I, uh, I upgraded it. Been in the IT industry I uh, tried to uh, keep up to date with uh, various bits and pieces and I thought well this is probably the best way to go um, as opposed to uh, getting a, a dedicated device because um, I don't use them that often and I thought well for less than £40 it's, uh, it's worth a punt and uh, give it a try. So let's see what's on the box. As normal everything comes in uh, very good packaging. So we've got the actual device. Yet another <laughs> yet another uh, cable. Um, a USB cable. So what's on this one? Two ends on it. Let's see what we've got. That's interesting. Two USB connections. I'll have to see what uh, see what that is. Okay. Excuse the uh, the CWI dent in the background, but well, that's my uh, Echo Link uh, gateway server um, just uh, coming through. So what else we got? We have got a nice little user guide, and oh, there's more stuff under here. Two user guides. Two user guides, obviously the driver and software for the um, for the device, and in these user guides there's also two probes. That's the one. Which one got? Oh, exactly the same things there. Obviously one's a um, one times and. 10 times oscilloscope probe, so we'll have to see what uh, which is what. Trying to uh, to see which it is. Oh right, okay, that's good. There's two probes because it's a dual input um, PC oscilloscope. That's why, and you can flip between the two by the looks of it by just flipping that switch times one times ten. Obviously some little uh, trimming tools to uh, to set the thing up. Pick that up in a minute, it's just dropped on the floor. Don't lose it, definitely need to have those. So what else we got? Let me try and put these back in. to see what these uh, the two two cables are. Um, so what's in this device? As you can see it's never been opened. So let us uh, try and open it. Back with some uh, silicon gel. Nice sturdy device, metal case, rubber to give it a bit of uh, strength there in case we drop it. So we've got a USB and something called USB-X, don't know what that is, we'll have to uh, see what it is but obviously it connects directly onto the, um, a bit there, directly onto the circuit board. 
Hey sir, I've never, uh, like an IT person, I never read the manual. Let me just turn that down a second, that's better. So we've got the uh, two channel inputs, we've got the uh, the test um, test connections, it's for a 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz um, waveform at 2 volt peak to peak and the earth so obviously that is for uh, for the calibration so I think the next thing we need to do is to uh, um, get this um, attached to a computer presumably it'll be Windows um, unfortunately I'm in the uh, the home office at the moment so I've only got uh, um, Mac uh, computers um, so I'll have to go into the uh, the radio shack um, to connect this up to uh, one of the, the computers there and install that software and uh, see what happens. So, looks very nice to start with. Um, we'll uh, just to see how, how things progress. So the next video will uh, have all of the, uh, the outcomes. So thanks for watching, short and sweet, and uh, catch you later.